2020 has been a year of terrible things happening. Way too many to mention in this video on this channel. However, one thing that is not terrible is the launch of a brand new console generation. And thus, I have secured myself an Xbox Series X. This is like 14 pounds. It's hefty. It's a chonky box. And hopefully, in two days, knock on glass here, I will have the PS5. But, be that as it may, let's get down to unboxing it, hooking it up, and making some proper 4K gaming happen on this channel, bay B. Power your dreams. Unless your dreams were playing Halo Infinite on launch, because that got delayed. Anyhow, I've cut the tape. One, two, three, four. Let's flip it over and open it up. And a drum roll, please, if you will. Up, up, up. And there is the Series X. Again, power your dreams wrapped in this, like, material with, it's very, like, a, it's, it's gift wrapped, which is funny. But, yes, let's get this out of here and do some thangs. Fun fact, capturing in 4K on my phone does work, but I am limited to five minutes and the phone gets super hot and burns the battery out really fast. So, that's fun. Anyhow, look at this. Look at this nonsense. All right, we're gonna... Undo this. It's just a, a pull tab on, on that. I think there's a QR code behind there for something. I don't know what. But a singular piece of tape holds this together on each portion. And we're going to untape that and uh, kind of tear it a little bit and get it all unwrapped and naked and all that good stuff. So there you go. There is the Xbox Series X in one hand. It's really heavy. Like, it does not do it justice. It's a giant fan in there. Uh, just how, like, thick it is and just how dense. Like, if you've held an Xbox One X and how dense that is, this thing is like that, but double or triple. It's really, really hefty. So I'll put that over here for now. Uh, we have a quick start guide, additional support information, storage expansion. That's expensive. So maybe at some point down the line, but not right now. That's for sure. And then in the back of the box, we have important things like an HDMI. I'm assuming an HDMI 2.1 cable, even though my TV up here is not HDMI 2.1, and neither is my new monitor, but you know, we'll get there eventually. Power cable. I am glad the days of the power brick is done because those were always annoying. And... Just getting it to fit somewhere was always a hassle. And then, of course, we have the X... Oh, batteries in there. An Xbox Series X controller with a different D-pad compared to the Xbox One D-pad. Otherwise, it feels good. It feels kind of the same. Uh, it's more. This is more of a texture here than I'm used to. So that might take some getting used to, but, you know, uh, kind of just the standard... Standard B in this uh, for that, like it feels pretty much the same. There's a, actually a, there's a texture on the uh, the buttons here too on the on these two, not these two. On yeah, that's, a, that's interesting. That's that could be annoying. It could not. We'll see. Adora cell, the copper top. Now I use rechargeable and loop batteries. Like if you're gonna play a lot and you're gonna record on that microphone a lot, use rechargeables. They're pretty good these days. And of course a product and warranty guide everything else in here so that's kind of everything in the box let's uh try and get it plugged in now shall we now i just double checked and there actually is a texture here on the xbox one x but it feels way more pronounced on the xbox series x and definitely it's on the controller here where it is definitely not on the controller here so that's kind of curious and of course the biggest problem for weirdos like me who buy every console is that eventually you're gonna run out of space where you store the consoles. And I have a little space kind of under here and on the other side of this thing here. But right now I want to put Series X here and PS5 here as kind of the two towers of this situation. And I will figure out the rest later. Now, obviously it's going to fit just fine standing up, plenty of space, plenty of air, all that good stuff. And the issue laying it down for right now is not enough space here because this is going to be sitting right here for the air to shoot out and properly cool 
the thing. So I'm gonna have it up right, it's fine. Now, even if I did have an HDMI 2.1 TV, I definitely don't have an HDMI 2.1 switch box. This does do 4K 60 and HDR, but would not do the variable refresh, etc., etc. But for the first time, let us turn this on and see how fast it's going to boot. Same boot sound. Over to the TV. What do we got? Do you want to give me a signal? There we go. I have a signal. It's back. And I'm assuming we have our first ever user experience type thing to say, hey, you should log in, put in your name, get on the internet, all that good stuff. Do an update, because that's what things are in 2020, is everything needs an update on day one. So let's get into that, I suppose. Now, this part of the video is not in 4K because I'm using the app with the TV with the console and we're going to walk through some of this stuff here to connect. Console needs a 725 megabyte update. Of course it does. Let's go. I want it to be instant on with that SSD super fast. Let's go. So either the app finished or it crashed, but either way, this is just about done here and this camera is way blurry. My apologies. We're getting there though. So not only did the app crash on me, and this is just a me problem here, but it also did the connection to the other Xbox. Not the new one, the old one, which does me, like, no good for a setup, so I had to do it all twice, but, you know, that is what it is. It did pull in all of my settings, which is fantastic, and now I, if I go over here into the games and apps, you will see we have 800 gigs free. There is nothing currently installed, but of course... I thought ahead and made sure to Gamefly a copy of Watch Dogs Legion. So the first game installed here is going to be this game. Let's see how long that takes. There's an upgrade. Smart delivery. Another 37 gigs. Let's do that. All right. I had some weird issues with the Wi-Fi for a bit, but let's boot up Watch Dogs here and see how fast this might get me into the game, is my question, in this Xbox Series X Enhanced Edition of Watch Dogs. But yeah, I gotta look into my whole home network thing and get it redone. Like, I would love to go all Ethernet, but that's more wires, that's more hardware, and man, I've already bought enough freaking hardware this year. Press button so, I don't know, it's gonna be like, you wanna do voice stuff? No, I don't wanna do voice stuff in menus. Watch Dogs, relax. Menu narration. Do not give Off. me menu narration. Enable text to speech to allow voice narration of highlighted menu elements. Okay, past the menu bills. I want to see that thing go, yeah, real fast across the bottom. Not making me sit here for a minute and a minute and change to load. Like, that's the whole point, right? Is you're enhanced for this whole SSD thing on both consoles, and it should be like bing, bang, boom, eight seconds, maybe ten, but. Get me in there, man. Get me in there, Ubisoft. What are you doing? Ah, London. What a town. And pretty much within, like, real quick, we are in the game. So that's awesome. That's kind of my most hype thing besides things like ray tracing. Is my, my most hype thing is just getting into the game faster, especially to film with Grim, who hates load times way more than I do. I've been playing games for a long time. I'm used to them. Him, mm, not so much. So we'll get into a little bit here. Just a little bit, a tiny bit. I want to see gameplay, and then we can call it on this video and move on with, you know, getting more things done here. Getting more things installed here, etc., etc. I have, also from Gamefly, going to be here in the next few days, Yakuza. Hype for that. And then past that, you know, there's Game Pass and all kinds of things happening. So Ubisoft presents... Another a Watch Dogs. Oorah, oorah, oorah. Now, as much as I would love to compare this version to playing on my brand new RTX 3000 card, unfortunately, the 3070s did not come with a free game of Watch Dogs. 3080s and 90s, yes. But 3070s, not so much. So I got a free year of GeForce Now. Oops. I meant to do... Alright, that was all I wanted to... Choke hole! Choke him out! Okay. What I wanted to... Obviously, would have liked to have tested that, but unfortunately, 
Uh, not the case for me. So I get a year of now. I'm not going to use that, but I have it. Whatever. Um, but certainly, Watch Dogs here on the Series X looks all right. So how much it looks different from the PC version on an RTX card, I have no idea. But, you know, we're here. Reflections, lights, all kinds of stuff. Is that actually RTX? Is that ray tracing in that puddle shadow? I maybe... I don't know. I would certainly hope so. But anyhow, let's be like, you know what? I'm good. Main menu. And then I can just kind of hit that and back on that main menu and pop out and say, you know what? I want to play Ori instead. And my my thought is that that'll keep that in memory, I think. But I'm not sure how much for how long any of those details. Um, but yeah. Ori here improved for the Series X. Now, if I had a monitor or a TV that did 120 frames over this, you know, fancier cable, then I could, but I don't have that. But hey, a locked 60 at 4K and a much fa Look, that was way faster to actually load up the main menu here because on the Xbox One X, it takes a bit to load Ori initially. So, any kind of reduction there, I am all for that. 120 FPS support not detected. Ori is going to run super sampled 6K at 60. So, I have to wonder if I plugged in this into my monitor, that is a 144Hz monitor, if I could do that or not. That, I don't know. But I'm only like 9% in here, so I played a little bit and then got swamped with other stuff. But let's see how long this takes between hitting play and being in the game. And look at that! I'm in the game! Awesome. So super sampled, even better, and playing it at a solid 60, which is what I love, love, love to see. If, if, I, if I could have a whole console generation of games running at 60, I'd be very, very happy. Anyhow, that, my friends, is it for me today. This, this video has to get edited and put up at some point in the next couple of hours, so... Can I just immediately go back, hey, Watch Dogs! Is it just back on the menu there, or is it gonna be... I have to load. Like, I should have kept it in the game, and then, well, that's on me. That's on me! But, things, yeah, that's... I was on the menu, and it did it, that did close the game. Because now it has to initialize, because I'm assuming the internet and whatever else. Look, there are quirks to figure out here with any new game console. And so... I will perhaps see you back here uh, for another unboxing whatever video in like two days, provided that it actually shows up here with the PS5 in two days. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. See you next time. And I'm out!